shown um, the difference between my practice now and in 2000 for example was at that time in 2000 I was young and I was a Buddhist not a Buddhist I used to read many books and fill my mind with academic knowledge according to Buddhism but then I never followed the Eighth Four Path. I never lived it, the right livelihood, and utilized the practice because many people say, oh, well, Buddhism is a, it's a religion. And for me, I, I haven't always viewed it like that. I have viewed it more as a phil philosophical application to daily life. Uh, the, the Buddha was the greatest doctor in the world because the medicine that he gave was the Dharma. And so, when I ordained, uh, I set my goals very high because I read the, uh, the Pali Canon. I read uh, the story and the Buddha said that if you want to be a monk, then you should try to be like Mahamagalana or Sariputta. And naturally, if you read the biographies of these monks or any of the monks during the time of the Buddha, one can't help but be inspired and want to replicate. So, uh, coming here, having the chance to ordain at Sangatan, uh, I was very happy because it was a place in which I felt the wind I was very strong. And, of course, every teacher I saw, I why? You have to why? So, naturally, I remember some days my arms were just so tired. And I, I wanted to tie a, a rope around my, my chest and just to keep my arms up. And, you know, uh, I am all the more thankful now, uh, having had the experience to travel throughout Thailand and see the difference in when I am practices. And I think what the most important thing to do is, is to always look at the positive aspects. Because it's so easy to get caught in the negative aspects, for negative thoughts travel 20 times faster than positive thoughts. So what I like to do is, step outside of the house and look inside the window to see what's going on. And this gives you a better uh, picture of things. So now I can take the experience that I have from visiting many temples and take all the good things I learned.